Hello and welcome to our CEO Masterclass. I'm Peter Switzer and I'm talking to Ron Weinberger who's the CEO of EM Vision. We've talked to Ron before but I want to catch up to see how the business is going mate. Great to see you. Very good to be here. Thanks very much Peter. Now last time we spoke was May last year and EMV was at 40 cents. Right. The stock has doubled since then. Apart from your, your brilliant connection to me, yes. what's, what's happened to the business? Well, I think the first thing and most important thing is uh, we've uh, done what we said we were going to do. So I think that uh, when we started, we, we really had a technology in the university laboratory. Mm. And in under a year, we've built and designed and uh, facilitated a product that's actually going into the hospital for its first clinical trial. Right. And we've communicated that um, appropriately to the market and mm. uh, I think we have the credibility to support that. Great. EM Vision, just tell us about the company. Uh, EM Vision uh, is a company that is developing a point of care stroke device. Uh, essentially to bring it to the bedside or directly to the patient. Mm as opposed to taking the patient to the imaging device such as CT and MRI. Mm. It's a way to, if you can think of it as to democratising uh, mm. stroke imaging. And the information will get to the doctor even quicker. Absolutely. It's really by the bedside mm. and what we're trying to do is not have images of the quality in CT but be able to provide to clinicians immediate, very rapid information that allows them to make a better diagnosis. So a patient arguably would have one of these in their home and monitoring themselves in case a stroke might be coming? Um, sometime in the future maybe, yeah. but uh, I think uh, where we are at the moment, initially we're starting within the hospital because mm. that's where we have to be able to provide the credibility and have clinicians champion, but that is essentially also what's required to get us our regulatory approvals. Mm. Where we are heading nevertheless is to be able to have these in the back of ambulances and okay. for paramedics to yeah. use. So for the sake of people watching this, because it, mm. it, it does, it, it sounds really sexy, Right. well it sounds very life-saving yeah so are we saying that this could help diagnose the possibility of a stroke before someone has it and therefore you know cut off the the, the possibility that they may well be living a terrible life no the answer is to that is no mm. that's not the intent at the moment but what is really really important is to uh, identify if a patient's had a stroke, but also to differentiate between the two types of stroke, whether it's a bleed or a blockage, mm. uh, because the treatment for either of those is actually very different. Mm. So in order to be able to provide that information at the point of care is quite unique. Mm. We don't want to be an MRI and a CT. We don't have that quality of data and information, but it's really about bringing uh, more and better data to clinicians to make better and more informed decisions. So you've started clinical trials, so what does success look like? What we're trying to do is to acquire large data sets while we're in the hospital using our device. Those data sets are going to be used to refine the algorithms that are used to inform the images. So it's a data acquisition and refinement process which we will then use to correlate to CT and MRI from those patients and ideally what we want to see is a, a good match up between our images and those of CT and MRI. Okay, and so do you have rivals around the world doing exactly the same as you or are you in sort of a space by yourself? Um, I've learnt you're never in a space by yourself. Mm. Um, there are people working on um, RF and uh, electromagnetic technologies mm. for imaging. Mm. I think the thing that really differentiates us is that we're not a technology, we're actually a clinical product. Mm. Um, our doctors, the allied health professionals are actually you could argue inventors um, within for our product mm. uh, because we're designing and developing something that they want and that they can use in a clinical environment. Mm. Even small things like where am I going to store the device? Where is it going to sit? Who's going to use it? Can a patient who's five foot tall, my size mm. people, uh, can not a patient, a nurse, be able to actually implement it and use it? So mm. all of that is something that makes us completely different from our competitors. Okay, paint us a picture of when this thing is on the market and doing exactly what your dream has sure. always been, right. what would that look like? Tell us how long you think it might be. It's a hard, hard one, I know. Sure. But what will it look like in the marketplace being used? Sure. Um, I think the reality is is that um, medical professionals always want lots of data. Mm. So as we move into each region, uh, hospitals want to trial it. You know, we'll have them at centres of excellence. 
Uh, we would love to see this roll out, particularly in the United States, from mm. coast to coast. Uh, obviously, it would be in hospital by hospital to start mm. with. Um, the good thing is, is that we see multiple devices between in one large hospital, uh, and we'd be very keen to roll this out into uh, rural areas where they don't have access to services that you would say in a large mm. city. Yeah. Um, that's particularly exciting. Yeah. I can imagine that. So I understand you recently attended a, the largest medical imaging conference in Chicago. Yeah. So what were the takeaways from the conference? Uh, RSNA is the Radiological Society of North America. It was held in Chicago. There are 50,000 attendees. It gives you a sense of the scope and it brings together both clinicians uh, and medical imaging companies and some of the largest medical imaging companies in the world. Mm. So Ron, what was the the feedback you got from the conference? Uh, well, we met with uh, senior executives in some of the largest medical imaging companies and we went there to determine do people want to buy it and can we sell it? And mm. the answer was a resounding yes. Uh, the discussions that we actually had around with them were around commercial partnering. Uh, they have two approaches that they take at the moment as far as we understand, which is taking equity in a business or partnering for distribution later on. Mm -hmm. And, and did the people who saw your stuff say, wow, only in Australia? <laughs> um, yes, basically they said, uh, look, you're onto something. Mm -hmm. uh, there really is a clinical unmet need here. Uh, the ability to bring stroke diagnosis to the patient directly by the bedside is something that they realise is a, is a significant issue and problem. Mm. Uh, they understand the approach that we're taking. They don't have anything in their toolbox at the moment. Uh, and they realise that there is a significant commercial opportunity if we were uh, able to go down that path. Okay. Yeah. Ron, thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thank you. That's Ron Weinberger, the CEO of EM Vision.